Football, talk to me. We good? I don't know, LT. All right, let's keep it together. None of us were expecting this. I know, I get it. But it's happening. Might as well be the ones making history. Great. No pressure. Sapphire 1-1, one, one, Alchemist. Getting a lot of interference here. PDX is breaking up. Could be electromagnetic radiation. Over. Copy. Interrogative. Do you have a visual? Over. Affirmative. We see you now. Continue on task towards your primary. Over. What the hell was that? Alchemist, are you guys seeing this? It looks like floating debris. Only super localized. Roger, hold that position, Sapphire. Do not approach. We'll send the robot in to assess. Wait out. Yeah, robots first. Sir, many UGVs moving up. Telemetry's getting sluggish, and EMI's kicking up again. There. Is that it? Finally out of the bag, Bohemia and Arma have announced Arma 3 Contact. Now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at what they've all announced and what you can expect from weapons to gear. And we're going to talk about, well, the aliens that they are now introducing into Arma 3. So, basics first. The new DLC, Armor 3 Contact, will come out on the 25th of July for about 25 US dollars, adding a new campaign, a new terrain, two factions, five weapons, two vehicles, and a ton of gear. Now, there will also be some free bonus content, whether or not you will buy or own the DLC, which includes NATO woodland camouflage, civilian clothing, and a ton of decorative and terrain objects. So first up, the new single player campaign. Aliens are coming to Earth. I mean, there's no way of getting around that. We are in Livonia, the new map, and we are playing as Specialist Aiden Rudwell. You are a NATO soldier. You are taking part in a military training exercise here on this new map. And then suddenly aliens enter the atmosphere and they come to Livonia. Why Livonia of all places, well, Small spoiler if you don't want to hear it, but allegedly there is a giant underground alien network here in this terrain, in this map. That's why they come here. Now your job in the campaign will be to find out what the hell they're doing here and to unravel the mystery behind the aliens. So as I mentioned, the new terrain, Livonia, is where it all will be taking place. Now Livonia itself is a Eastern European terrain and it really reminds me, in my opinion, of a sort of mix between Chernarnes from Arma 2 and the Essaker map, which was made for Arma 3, which looks absolutely stunning. So it has this sort of Essaker Chernarnes vibe with some larger towns and a lot of the military bases and complexes that are hot, hidden in forests. And you got overgrown areas and a couple of towns that are totally bombed out or destroyed, most likely for these military training exercises. Livonia is 163 square kilometers, which comparing it to Chernars or Arma 2, to put it into perspective, Chernars is 225 square kilometers. However, it's kind of unfair to compare those like apples to apples because Chernars has water to the south and to the east, so if you were to not count that water, Chernars probably comes a little bit closer to Livonia's size. So moving on to the two new factions, we have the LDF, or the Livonian Defense Force, and Russian Spetsnaz Special Forces. 
First up, the LDF is mainly focused around infantry, motorized, and mechanized elements, and their gear comes in this distinctive woodland camouflage. It really reminds me of the French CE or Center Europe camouflage, which has a sort of M81 camouflage that the Americans use, but it's got a little bit more of a distinctive European touch to it. Then we have the Spetsnaz, obviously Russian special forces. They use their own specialized gear and they also come with the new RPK-12 and AKU-12 weapons. So here we have the Promet 6.5 millimeter rifle coming in a lot of different variants. One is a marksman rifle with a longer barrel. We have a grenade launcher underslung version and my personal favorite is an under barrel 12 gauge shotgun module which allows you to pump your enemies full of lead from long range or if you're clearing a building you can switch to shotgun for those close encounters. One thing that I really, really think is very cool, the VHS rifle design has actually been put into this ProMet and I'll have them here side by side. It's a 2.5 magnified optic that can be attached to the rail inside of the carry handle. And if you compare this with the VHS, it really resembles it a lot. Here we have some awesome additions to the CSAT equipment. We have an RPK-12, which is basically an AK-12 with a heavier, longer barrel and a specially designed muzzle brake with an integrated bipod coming with 75 round magazines. And then the AKU-12, or the smaller version of the AK-12, designed for weapon screws and special forces, being lighter and smaller, even easier to conceal. Now there's also two sort of civilian-esque weapons being added. The Mark 14, this time in a wooden finish with 10 round magazines, and the, sure I'm gonna mispronounce this, Costless or Costliche 12 gauge, which is a over-under shotgun, a double barrel over-under shotgun, which comes in both a regular long barrel version and a sawn-off version to be more easily hidden on your body for certain criminal people who are interested in that. So there's also two new vehicles, and these aren't necessarily the biggest, most hypest thing to talk about in my opinion, but I'm gonna talk about them. We have a literal tractor being added. It's the one from Arma 2, but they claim it had a major upgrade to its model and textures, and allegedly it might prove, quote, unexpectedly useful in certain circumstances. So it's probably gonna be something where you have to escape the aliens on a tractor in a campaign, I assume. And then there is another vehicle, or technically two, that you can't really ride. These are the mini UGVs that we saw in the screenshots and in the trailer. There is the ED-1D, which is a military one to demine and check out like specific situations. And then there is the ED-1E, which is a scientific version, but it does have an asterisk behind it. And on the store page on Steam, they have this under the asterisk, let me quote. Some of these marked items might have advanced scripted gameplay functionality within Arma 3 Contact single player campaign. Please be aware they are purely cosmetic when used outside of this campaign. So there is going to be a lot of items that are going to have specific uses in the campaign but aren't going to be doing anything else and just look pretty outside of it. It's a little bit disappointing they didn't give us any modules to mess around with in the editor, you know, set up your own sort of chemical attack or whatever, but we're going to have to see what really happens in the campaign before we can really judge that. So there's also a gear part on the armad3.com slash contact website, and here to showcase some of the gear you can expect in this DLC, here is the Spectrum device, which as I said earlier, some of these things will only actually be usable in the campaign and outside of the campaign, they'll be purely cosmetic. Obviously, I'm not really sure what to expect from this thing. It looks very futuristic. The description is something along these lines. It can be used for jamming or deception. Depending on the antenna, it will be able to receive and send a myriad of signals at various frequencies. So it's gonna be something that we probably use to find the alien ships with. I already mentioned that CBRN, or the Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear Defense Equipment will become available in different colors and variations, including backpacks, air purifiers. Again, these are mostly gonna be visual, I assume, or pure cosmetic outside of the campaign. Though I can assume if you don't wear your gas mask in the campaign during certain situations, you might die or pass out, something along those lines. 
Radio packs, as I mentioned earlier in one of the screenshots, they are being added in different camouflages. There's no real explanation as to what these will or can do. I can only hope that when you're playing multiplayer and you have one of these on and you don't actually have TFAR enabled, that you can use these to talk to people further away from you outside of your direct range using direct communication. But we're gonna have to find out what they actually do and how they will work. And then we have blindfolds, which I can only really hope block your view so you can use these as a sort of stopgap measure to put on uh, prisoners to stop them from seeing what's going on and last but not least my favorite addition is the tin foil hat it has a description obviously it's just a joke but it, it's pretty funny they decided to add it so last but not least i want to go back to the map we discussed it already in a little bit basically the map right now is actually viewable in the editor if you pre-order the dlc and switch from your regular branch to the dev branch on Steam for Arma 3, you can check out the map in the editor, the map and its objects. You cannot see any of the factions or weapons or even the campaign, that's coming later they said, but you can now check out the map for yourself and the map itself is absolutely fantastic. I'm probably going to make a separate video showcasing the map and some of the cooler situations and things I found on the map in another video. For now, I really hope that you guys are as excited as I am about this. Not even for the aliens part or for the single player part necessarily, though it sounds really cool, but to have all the CBRN stuff and all the cool new gear, and this map is absolutely fantastically looking. I'm really excited for this the DLC to come out and actually use it in some missions. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one where I discuss the new terrain. Cheers!